So you want to learn how to position in Hearthstone Battlegrounds? Well, I gotcha. Let's just get started right away. I'm gonna talk about the early game, mid game and late game. And then in the end about some general things that you need to keep in mind during the entire game. So when you start off the game, an early game, most of the time you wanna position from your big units on the left to your small units on the right. Because it all comes down to value trading. If your unit gets to trade twice into your opponent's units, well, that's just much better than if your opponent hits twice into your units. So put your biggest units first to increase the odds of value trading and winning the fight. Secondly, be careful of what heroes you face. For example, if you face Alakir, be sure to put your smallest guy first to bump the shield of his divine shield taunt that he's gonna get with his hero power. If you see a Yogg and you know what he hero powered into, then play around Ted. Also play around Rafam, give him a shitty unit. So play around whatever opponent you're facing. Be mindful of it, because especially in the early game it's gonna be important. Also don't overvalue things like putting a bomb first, or maybe even spawn. Because well, bomb is only a 2-2. If your opponent has a Monkless first and your bomb at attacks into it, the homunculus still lives and then your bomb might hit a 1-1 for example and then you need a second guy to bump into the homunculus. So you still want to put bomb relatively in the middle or at the end of your board just so your units value trade. Value trading is more important than getting that instant death rattle value. Now I also said spawn. Spawn basically when you have two units or three units on a board. It might not be worth to put it first but it might be better to just value trade instead. For example, if your opponent again has a homunculus, you don't want your spawn to go into it and then a second unit to go into it. It's much better if just your first unit value trades into that homunculus and then gets to kill the other unit as well. And those are, I think, the most important things about the early game. Now let's move on to the mid game, shall we? Again, you want to position big to small. I think value trading is still one of the main concepts in the entire game of Battlegrounds or just Hearthstone in general. Bigger stats beat smaller stats. So put your big things still in the front, but there's a couple dynamics that change. When max are in, you want to play bumpers, which are small guys that you put first in order to get rid of shields, because most of the time people are gonna have divine shield taunts. So put something first, like the spawn that you still have, or a selfless hero, or just a small buffer that you bought in the shop, like a cup, put that first and get rid of that shield. Another important thing is that you want to put things first that generate value for your board. Like for example, if you have draconids on the board, you want to put your divine shield units, like bronze wardens earlier, even though they're less big, because the divine shields are gonna buff up your guys in the back. Same as putting a bunch of small mechs first to juice up your junk bot in the back, even though nobody ever plays junk bot, it's just a hypothetical scenario. And of course value as in deflector bots, you put those early so that way they get the divine shield resets. You could put a wind fury guy first, the cyclone, so that way you get to take out multiple of his units before he gets value. And a cleave, you could put that first of course to cleave your opponent's board. <laughs> An interesting thing is that you might not want to start off with things like a cleave for example. If you know for a fact that your opponent has a divine shield taunt, it's better to maybe play a bumper than a big guy that kills the taunt and then put cleave third so the cleave goes down the middle of his board. So by putting cleave third sometimes you could deal much more damage than putting it first because your opponent might play around it. Oh yeah and then let's not forget to play around cleave ourselves. So if beasts are in be sure to play around cleave by putting small things next to your taunts or only taunt one thing, put it in the back and make sure you minimize the damage that a cleave does to your board. And if beasts are out but mechs are in, then if you see people have six stars on the board already, you gotta play around four reaper. And then when we enter the late game, you almost always want a bumper first because of Amalgadons. Amalgadons are the strongest units, most people in top three will have Amalgadons on the board, so you wanna play bumpers if possible, sometimes you can't, but at least try. You also might wanna put poison early, for example if you know your opponent is playing elementals, they might have a huge gar and everything might just die into it. So putting spores or poison murlocs first or maxinus might be a way that you save the game. You also might want to play around ghoul from time to time if your opponent knows your max and if you're or if you're playing George it's very likely that they're gonna look for a ghoul and put that in to screw with your bold so be sure to play around it by putting your reset before your deflectobots. Now some general tips to keep in mind during the entire game. Make sure that you make room for your death rattles. So if you taunt a high main or if you have a taunted mech that that happens to have a menace on there and you want full value Put your small guys first that are gonna die, but that still give you value. So that way your death rattles of course go off. So this makes a lot of sense. I see a lot of people putting their infested wolves or their red packs first just to juice up your hyena, but they don't get full value. So try to position in a way that you get maximum value from all the death rattles on your board. Another one is to not just blindly follow these rules. You gotta be smart about it as well. For example, if you just put your minions from strong to weak on the board in the early game, but you see that your opponent has seven murlocs on the board, then you might wanna put your murk eye first because it gets 
gets plus 7 attack. So even though Murkai might at the moment not be your biggest unit, it's gonna be during the next fight. Now also a small thing that I pay attention to is ordering your units to deal maximum damage. For example, if you have a 2-3 Murloc on the board and a 2-3 pack leader, that does nothing in this case, uh, you might want to put the pack leader in the back and the Murloc in the front, simply because the Murloc is more likely to die. The units that go in the front are of course more likely to die and attack in. So you want your 1-star units to die and your 2-stars to survive just to deal more damage. So that's a small thing, if units have the same amount of stats, put the one with more stars in the back. Or just late game, if you're super strong, put your Bran and your Light Fang and everything in the back so they are less likely to die and your opponent is gonna take a lot of damage to capitalize off that momentum that you have. And other very basic things that you should know is yeah, you wanna put Jungbot and Hyena last so they get maximum value from your board. But those I think are so obvious that I'm not gonna point them out. There's a lot of other obvious positioning that you should know, but I'm sure you're gonna figure it out. I think those were the most important things that I could come up with. Of course, if you enjoyed this guide and if you want to see more of these in the future, feel free to subscribe and maybe hit the bell if you want to be notified as well. And yeah, if I forgot about anything at all or if you have any tips yourself to share with people, then comment them down below. I'd love to read it and I know others will as well. Thanks again a lot for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next one. Good luck on the battlegrounds.